Hey everybody, Tom Barnes, stories from the 78, talking to you from the 1901 project that is the United Center on Chicago's west side, right on Madison there. Seven billion dollar privately funded project that's going to have over 55 acres of private assets within this mixed development. 6,000 capacity, and you're looking at the bottom of your screen there, 6,000 capacity venue that is in this entertainment district, 1,000 affordable transit oriented homes. I'm not really sure what transit oriented means, but either way, that's what's going to be in this spot of Chicago. And it's designed to bridge the entire neighborhood from the West Loop to the United Center campus here. And you're looking at a top of all those retail, they're having the parks on top there, which is pretty innovative. You know what? My wife is a landscape architect and the project that they're doing seven billion dollars there is the music venue six thousand not just music entertainment venue uh to use the green roofs like that as park spaces basically this is essentially getting rid of all the parking lots around the united center which has been kind of a huge miss for years to have parking lots around this beautiful spot there's a spot right there of what the parking lot will be turned into in the winter at least you're going to have an ice rink for the blackhawks to uh, have fans go out there and enjoy the campus but if you've been in Chicago at all and been in the West Loop, you always know that the West Loop kind of just stops right there at Ogden, right by Union Park, and it doesn't fully connect. It's gotten way better, and the West Loop has exploded. This is going to bridge that gap for sure, and it's going to make the west side of Chicago further uh, footprint of the regentrification, also the redevelopment. Perhaps all the way, this will get it going all the way, you know, through the Austin neighborhood, Garfield Park, and all the way to Oak Park, you know. But you're looking at some of the things here. I just think it's a great idea, and it will fill in so much of what's needed in that neighborhood. Hotels, a train, potential train line. They just opened a new one recently on Morgan Street, the Green, Green Line Station. But either way, this is fantastic. These pictures are stunning, and it's all privately funded. That is the number one line. By the same family that's asking for public money for the baseball stadium for the White Sox. So, and the Bears too, who the Bears are the big dogs in town when it comes to, you know, popularity. Yet the Bulls and the Blackhawks are putting up $7 billion of privately funded money to do this. So maybe this is a good uh, warning shot to the baseball team and the football team that maybe you have to put up a little bit more money. Either way, if we get something like this in Chicago, this could be the center point, center point of the west side and really branch the entire thing together. So check this out. Another story, storiesfromthe78.com. Thanks.